Hello everyone, welcome back to Flashing Lights. Now I wanted to get in here, I've been wanting to get in here and do videos guys, I've been very busy. And also I'm not having support, family support like I want. So it's hard for me to get in here and do videos. So today we're going to kind of look at what's been updated here for Flashing Lights. I know that there is some EMS calls that has now come out for the new map. And also we have a new vehicle. It has come out across uh, every agency here on the map. It is based off 2021 Tahoe, as you can see here. Um, I do I do have mine as a slick top. I think it looks really good as a slick top. We'll show you all the lights on it here. We'll get out there and see what we can get into on the new map. Uh, there was a siren update also. Here in just a minute, let me get that, let that call get off the screen there. We'll get our timer started. There was a siren update too. Um, make the siren is more easier now to operate. And you can actually change your tones uh, to custom ones. There's our lights, all blue. Looks good. Now, as of right now, the map, uh, the new map is still in the city. Uh, they have not got any more done as far as the more than that, which is okay. It's always good, good, get in here and do a little bit of flashing light. There's the interior view. Interior view is still not the best on this one. Uh, it looks a lot better on the old version of the map. Hoping that'll be fixed. Right, we got an armed robbery in progress. So, to operate your siren, I don't know how you do it. Ah, oh, come on. There we go. And then it has changes. You just use your controller to change it out. Also, well, hit the button. I'll have to show you that in just a bit. Sorry about that. It's been a little while since I played this. I do like the way this game is going. It, it, I mean, it's a slow pace, but it looks really good. I like what I'm seeing. Come on, turn off, sorry. I like the feature where it cuts off and you get out of the car. Where'd they go? They're running. I see them running. Where'd it go? I don't play this much guys so I'm, I'm still kind of rusty on the controls for this because I don't play I only play it um, because I don't play with multiplayer so still kind of rusty when it comes to everything with flashing lights but I do like the way the game is going I mean it's a it's a really good step in the right direction for everything that's uh, going on okay little green dot says he's this way Just seen him running. It's back by the fire department.
know why it's doing that. It shouldn't be uh, lagging like that. Now you can customize your siren to different tones. There's not a lot of tones uh, on there right now. Hopefully there'll be more added. I would really love to see uh, workshop support come to this on Steam. That would be really neat to see if they could do that where you could have different uh, textures for the police cars and sirens and... Let's see. I did see one this way too. Trying to find <laughs> one of them's over that way. I'm about seeing about running. Over here by the hospital. Sorry, I don't know why. It's, there's one right there. If we can get close. To tase them. Both of them's right here. Okay, we had an ID card, a weapon, and an alcohol drink. Okay. Oop. I didn't mean to do it twice. Transport. To run back to our car to catch the other one. So yeah guys, the map has come along very well. Um, it, there's no secret about this game. If anyone has played it, you know, there's um, not that many developers on it, so it is going to take time. Where did my car go? Did my car disappear? That may be a bug thing, because I thought it was right here. Oh, there it is. 
you know, there's no secret with this with this game that you know there is not you know, there's one main developer, and he has helpers. So I mean, it's. It's going to be a slow and steady pace on, uh, you know, getting things out for this game. And getting it updated, and, you know, a new map and stuff. I do know that there is another vehicle coming. Um, unsure yet when it's coming, but... Let's see, it says it that, Okay, I see him running. See him running this way. There he is. Off the wall. Come on, run. Come on. Get him. Got him that time. ID and a weapon. So as right now, as you can see, transport does not work on this uh, map. That's okay. See, I think our vehicle's up this way. I think I do see a little icon on the map now. That's new if that uh, is our vehicle because that, they didn't used to have that on the map. So, glad to see that. But, uh, this game does have multiplayer. You know, for anyone that, you know, that wants to get into the multiplayer. Me, personally, I don't play multiplayer. So, I mean, I, I don't really normally get into it too much. Let's see. I had to run back to our vehicle. Yep, there it is. Can I do apologize for a little bit of lag? I don't know what that's where that's coming from. It should not be doing that. So I'll have to look into that. Uh, looks like there's only one or two calls on here. We'll wait and see if we get another call on the new map for police. Cause we just done our, our robbery call like that, so we'll, we'll wait. See what else we get. We're 
really want to get in here and show off the new vehicle and kind of uh, get you updated on what has come as uh, far as updates for the game. But yeah, this game would be awesome with, with Steam support, mod support on the workshop. It, it would really, you know, these textures and stuff for the police cars and, you know, sirens and, you know, stuff like that would be really great to see come from the workshop. Yeah, look, we're only getting one call, so we'll do one more here in just a minute. This is probably going to be a shorter video. We may go ahead and just change over and do a little bit of EMS. So we can uh, use the whole video, the whole length of the video. We're trying to do like 40 minutes. Okay, but we got a shot lifter. We'll do that. Uh, for you guys that watch this LSPDFR, um, I had to reinstall everything. Uh, the game was corrupted. I was using Jurisdiction 5. Unfortunately, it will not work now. I don't know what's wrong. It's not. It is not um, recognizing any DLC add on DLC content. So I don't know what that is. Um, it is back up and running, but it will only let me use um, default slots. I can't use any extra slots at all. It, it doesn't recognize nothing extra. So I, I don't know. I'm going to have to wait until I have to reinstall GTA again to fix it and I don't want to do that right this minute so let's see probably on the other side I have to say it is a good looking uh, vehicle I, don't, I didn't like the look of these Tahoes at first when I first seen them but they they're not bad looking they look very better as a police vehicle though they do a, a personal vehicle in my opinion probably right here yeah. alright this is the first we're looking for Stowed some items. The shoplifter look it looks like this. Taken from CCTV. Alright. Oop. So we'll kinda uh, look around here. I see if I see anybody like running or anything that may uh okay the blip is showing that he's the other way I'd like to turn that off I might figure out if you can turn that off or not I really like to see that turned off There he is. Run.
We got him. Had an ID card, stolen items, and a weapon on him. Call transport piggy book, and we'll take the items back. Oh, there it is. I see it over there. I do apologize, guys, for the lag. I, I'm I'm gonna have to look into it and see what's going on with the lag. Ever since the last Windows update season, uh, Windows updates they've been doing, it's been really bad. And this is not a. Uh, cheap computer yeah this is a pretty high-end computer so should not be having those issues So I think we'll head over here to the hospital when we drop this off and we'll do a little bit of a uh, um, EMS so we can look at some of the calls. Put that. And they, they do have this same vehicle in for EMS. Their graphics settings too. I'll look at the graphics settings as if maybe the graphics settings is a little bit off and it's causing it to do that lag. Because it really should not be doing that. Still kind of getting used to this new map. We we'll just park right here. So we're going to go and change departments. For the rest of the video, just got to change it up a little bit. Alright, we're going to get a different vehicle. We're not going to use this floor today. Get an ambulance.
We got a report of a gunshot victim. Why is it different siren for EMS and fire? I think there's a way you can adjust that. I'm gonna have to look at that. Expecting the patient here, so you, we can see what kind of problems are in. All right. Use bandages, so we're gonna have to go out. Go to bandages. Here. Now we can go out of this council. We'll go get our put our bag up and get a stretcher. Trying to use controller. Is it stuck on the ammo? Let me go around this side and see if I can do it. Nope. What is <laughs> He's holding it with him. It's like the stretcher is stuck. It don't want to let go. I'm trying to see if I can push it away from the ambulance. <laughs> well, it worked. <laughs> we'll load her on the, in the ambulance. I can get it to move. There we go. Shut the door. About that, I hit them. There we go. Don't get out of the ambulance. What are you doing?
There we go. Now, once the map gets bigger like the older map, you know, it's going to be a lot more. Uh, I am going to show you the computer system. So, the computer that keeps pulling, get, keeps getting pulled up here. Let me show it to you real quick. Now, one thing that they did add, you can go here, where it says CAD. This is your call. Any pending call shows here. You can accept from here or you can accept from the radio. So that is something new that they did add. There's, there's no pending call, no active call. Well, there is one active. You can respond to that or you can um, clear it. We, we're going to clear it because I think that's when we get done. So. And then you can close it up. And that's just if you use police, you know, you can use that for searching vehicles and stuff like that. And we got an NBA. I'm gonna head over there. suspects down here a medical bag he has no pole Okay, we're gonna get the uh, other bag. Uh, let's see if we can do CPR. Now, this is one thing I wish they would fix. Um, and then that. One thing I wish they would fix is uh, you, well, you didn't have to go back to your bag every time okay just have a poster I had to get a EK ECG machine here I think that's a defibrillator Need to remove the clothing first, though. Come on. Okay. Where's our bag? He's got a pulse. Use a use a I don't know a lot about EMS stuff, so I'm kinda of learning this.
little bend. Something else in here. Oh, there it is. Like I said, I don't know a lot about EMS, so. Okay. We'll go ahead and put this up. I'm gonna call a transport unit to come out for this one. Uh, another ambulance. Did the same thing I did before. We'll get that bag again. Trying to pick up the medical bag. There we go. We're terrible EMS. Come on, it's stuck on the police car.
I'm stuck on the police car with the stretcher. We're just gonna call a transport. I'll have to work on that some. Ah, oh, you gotta get a medical bag. See, that's something that they need to fix. guys that's gonna be it for the video like I said I want to get in here and check out the new vehicles and stuff like that um, I'm gonna have to work on using the stretcher so we got it stuck twice and it's over stuck on the police car now so I'm gonna have to work on that a little bit more uh, yeah the map is coming along pretty good pretty good uh, I do like the new Tahoe so I want to say thank you for everyone who's been watching thank you for subscribing and have a good day